Robert, let's start with the jobs report. We added 1.8 million jobs in July. How does that compare to June? Well, Susan, not quite as much as June, 4.8 million, but these are absolutely massive numbers. We've never seen anything like this. And uh, even with that massive recall of uh, in June and July, uh, 4.8 and 1.8, we're still about 10 million or so short of, of where our peak employment level was uh, in February. So we pulled a lot of people back into the economy. We brought the unemployment rate down to 10.2%. I wouldn't think I'd be saying that this year, but we, that's what we've done. And, uh, and I, want to, I think the, uh, the U.S. economy deserves an awful lot of credit here for how resilient it is and, and how we're able to absorb this huge shock to the system. Uh, my expectation is that these employment numbers, these absolutely gargantuan employment numbers, will not last going forward. We'll continue to pull people back on a net basis here over the next month or two, but I think we're going to slow down significantly here as we get into the fall and we deal with the choppiness uh, that we're seeing in terms of the coronavirus, in terms of the election, in terms of back to school. So an awful lot going on here to digest over the next few months. Robert, let's talk about the ISM non-manufacturing first. Back at 58.1, which is solid with 15 industries reporting growth. Give us your perspective on that. Yeah, that's a great number, 58, no problem there. And, and again, showing the bounce back in the U.S. economy with states reopening from late May into June and July. But we know going forward that coronavirus cases have increased. We know some states have had to either delay or push back on their reopening. So I'm expecting that to reflect in the data. Nice to see a 58 number. Uh, showing solid gains. Uh, I think it'll back off a little bit over the next couple of months. And the manufacturing index also improved. Yeah, same story. Nice to see that on the positive side. Really uh, coincident uh, with the, uh, the rebound in the auto industry. The auto sector pretty much shut down in April, almost zero production. We've seen auto sales come back now in July up to a 15 million unit rate. Not where we were, 17 to 18 in that range, but at least we have bounced off the bottom and we've given the auto workers something to do, which is very, very important for this economy because such a big part of the U.S. economy, almost 25% or so, touches the auto sector in some way. So very nice to see sales coming back, very nice to see manufacturing output in the auto sector coming back and pulling up manufacturing output in a variety of other industries. 